ahead and get another try. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a little bit since I actually talked to the camera here. So um, today I got a project that I've been working on. It's just a little one. Um, I have been experiencing some rubbing on my frame from my Kickstarter. So I'm going to look into that, figure out what's wrong with it, and see if I can fix it. I believe I know what it is. So before we get into the video though, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. I mean, come on back, check out what we got going on. Don't forget to smash the like button. always appreciate that. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram. I'm always posting things on Instagram uh, pretty regularly. I'd say definitely more than I'm posting videos here. So uh, it's just, it just has to do with everything that I got going on here. So, all right, let's get into it. I'll show you what's wrong with the bike. Okay, so we're over here at the 06 Honda CRF 250R. You can see right here where it keeps coming down and it's even hitting the brake as well. So if you look at the back here, you can see exactly where it's scraping. So what I noticed is that there's two things here um, on the kicker stop right here. It looks like it's uh, mashed in some, but then it's really mashed in on the inside of this kicker. So uh, I don't know if you can see that up in there. Nah, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to pop this thing off real quick. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to take my welder and build it up. I only need about, um, I'd say a sixteenth of an inch, and that'll help to bring it back out to an acceptable level. And then we'll get these areas polished back up and clean back up so they can uh, look good again. And not have to, for one, worry about it scraping and functioning property, properly, but for two, you know, keep it looking nice. So, all right, let's get this thing off. All right, so one thing you gotta worry about when you take this off is that there is a spring and a little ball bearing in there, and they have a tendency to pop out, and I've actually lost the spring and the ball several times before, so you just gotta be careful. And it's on this it's on the back side of this post here so all right they stayed in there so that's fine so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up because it's pretty it's got uh, quite a bit of grease on there from the last time that I did some maintenance on it so I'm gonna get it cleaned up <clears throat> then we'll take you guys over to the welder and now you can see that's the portion right there that's got so much taken out of it that it just sits back too far. That's it. So I'll fill that in and then build it up a little. Maybe just on our 16th of an inch. Should be good to go. And then we'll file it down and give it a test. All right, so I got some rags here. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it out real quick. Wipe it off. And you can really see the, the damage done to it. That's what happens when you kick the snot out of it too much. Gotta have your jetting right, folks. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard to kick. They're hard to start. think that should be good enough all right let's go get the welder set up
let's put this on here and see what kind of clearance we're working with. quite a bit of room there but it almost seems like it's too far forward so I think I need to grind just a little bit back so you can see right here that this is actually a little bit closer than the bottom and that's because it's not down far enough so I think if I go just a hair more I'll grind a little bit more off the inside there and then We'll refit it. That way we can get that gap to where it's even. And go from there. But the rest of it looks pretty good, so I'm happy so far. All right, so I took a little more off. And uh, let's go ahead and get another try. Oh yeah, that looks good there. That's good. Could probably take a hair more off of the back end of it. Because there's still a tiny bit of a gap right here. Wonder if I leave it, if it'll just uh, kind of wear in a little bit. You can see how it feels on my boots on there. Okay, that looks like it did the trick and it does feel pretty comfortable. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there for now and I'm sure that it'll wear in just a little bit and be absolutely perfect. I don't think that's too bad. Didn't feel uh, bad on the kick as well. So should be good to go. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and found some useful tips in there. Um, obviously, if you're, you know, if you can weld a little bit and you got yourself any kind of welding skills, you can do the repair as well. So. But that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the alert bell that we can come on back, check out what we got going on. And don't forget to smash the like button. Always appreciate that. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram. Like I said, I always got stuff going up there regularly. We'll see you guys in the next video, so take care, come on back, and God bless.